had. If you want to control remotely some computers, uh, VNC is your friend. In this video, I will show you um, my solution, which is uh, to install basically everywhere tight VNC and then to use KRDC to access these computers. So let's see some examples. I run KRDC. Now look, one of the good thing of KRDC is that I have all the list of computers I, I usually connect to and it can connect to VNC and where it's not available to RDP. So for example, let's connect first to a VNC computer, for example, a, um, a Windows computer, which could be, for example, this one. You see, the um, screen resolution is very good. The password has been memorized. And so I have very few things to type to connect to this computer. Let's connect also to another computer. And here you see an interesting thing. I still have the other connection open, but they can open new ones. So um, let's see another computer that could be, for example, uh, Domus. So I type here Domus, one of my virtual machine. And you see, this is another computer. I can log in in this, this, in this uh, machine. Okay, it works. You see, it's quite responsive. So everything is working well. I can run also a browser, for example, just to see for you to see. So um, it's quite fast because now all these computers are inside the same line and it is a gigabit Ethernet LAN. Okay, so let's connect now to a Linux machine. So new connection, linter. Linux test, that is. Okay. Okay. So you you notice at first that the um, the the graphical resolution is different. That's because here we are using a different software uh, to make the VNC the VNC service. So let's see it. If I do, I go to my list of processes and grab on VNC, I see that the program I'm using here is X11 VNC. And I recommend you to try it out. It's very good. Because in Linux, the situation is completely different from Windows. Linux doesn't have a default graphical user interface. And it is by default multi user. So for VNC, in general, it's not obvious what you want to do when you connect to the machine. I use X11 VNC because it has this property that it's, it takes the current X window running as I would see it from the console. And this is by default not the way of working on VNC in Unix. So I recommend you to try it out X11 VNC. Also, um, I found good results if I use X screen saver and XDM. So let's see here. See XDM, the graphical login I use is this one. I, it works well with X11 WNC. So in Linux, this configuration is a bit more complex and would require a video by itself to be well explained. So we will move forward to another topic, and this is just to show that thing can be made working. Let's see, finally, a connection to RDP. RDP, this is an old server that um, we are going to dismiss um, soon enough. But this is just to show you that um, KRDC can connect also to an RDP. And this is quite good. So the benefit, the major benefit of KRDC are, of course, the fact that it stores passwords, so I don't have to type them all the time. And I can see many computers at the same time. 
in all of these computer tideverc was installed and i show you you can see it here here this is the logo that show me that um, tideverc has been installed and ready to receive connection so that's all for today i hope you liked it subscribe if you found the video useful goodbye